Hello guys, welcome back to the third part. Uh, in this part, we are going to make this clock working. Uh, in the last two part, we have seen how we have designed this clock with the help of Figma and then made it using HTML and CSS. So now we are going to make this clock working with the help of JavaScript. So let's come back to our code. Let's create a new folder for our JavaScript. Add a file, let's call it main.js. And let's come to our index.html and include that file okay so we have the file ready now we can come over here let's do first first thing that i have to do is let's come over here and i want to clone this particular object okay so let's first select this okay so let's do let num node okay so let's call it num node document dot query selector num so i've selected this node now what i want to do is i let's now just for a testing purpose we are going to create a node uh, or basically we can say we are going to clone a node okay so let's say let clone node is equal to num node dot clone node so i'm going to clone this node into the clone node variable right now we have to uh we have this now i have to append it to our um clock face okay so let's select the clock face so right now the node is there but it is not added to anything okay so let's let's select the clock face also so it's going to be clock face okay so now what i'm going to do is i just i'm just going to do clock face dot append child okay and the child is going to be clone node okay so once i do that uh, uh it uh, now there are there will be two elements inside this which is going to be the same but i can now change anything i want inside this okay so let's select clone node dot um, last child element Okay, so dot inner. Let's change the inner HTML to one. Okay, so and see if that works. So let's see if there is any error or not. Okay, so it is giving me an error. So let's see. Hmm. Let's do a console dot log and do clone node dot child nodes. So it's going to be a node list of length zero. Okay. Okay, so what I think I've done is I've, I have to pass true. Okay, and now if I inspect. Okay, now it works. Okay, so the reason why it was not working is because when I send clone node, uh, if you do not send in true, it only copies the outer element. Okay, so for example, uh, if you do not send true, then these two divs will be not be copied only the the div that you want to clone will be copied okay but if you send true the entire structure will be copied okay so it is last element child and now i can set the inner html dot inner html and set it to one and you can see i am getting this now i can also change the style of it okay so last so I can change the style of the clone node 
and set the transform okay you can set the transform to a string and that string is going to be let's go to um, yeah so i can just rotate it rotate let's say 30 degrees perfect okay so i i can now test it out that yeah it is working so i can now change the rotation of an element right now the same thing i have to do let me move it up now i will take this child element and i have to rotate it in the clock anti clockwise direction okay so style dot so let me just copy this entire thing and paste it over here and i have to just do minus 30 okay so that will give me this okay so perfect so my test code is ready so now only thing i have to do is i have to put it inside a for loop and run it so that you know it goes all around the the clock okay so let's do that so i'm going to make a function call render render clock okay so that is going to be my function now here i'm just going to uh, yeah i'm going to take all these things from here remove it and get it inside my function okay so because this is not going to be useful outside of it so i'm just going to put it inside now i'm going to select the num node okay so num node is basically the thing that i want to copy then i'm going to clone it right so for cloning so the remaining part is going to be inside a for loop okay so let's do a for loop so for loop for let i equal to one okay so i'm going to start from one to i less than 12 uh, because 12 is 12 node is already there so i don't want to go till 12 so less than 12 that means it will go to 11 then i plus plus and now these entire things will go inside my for loop okay so now if i run this it should uh okay let me see yeah so now i just have to call this function somewhere so that you know the clock renders so after i run that you can see uh, i'm getting clock one okay because now uh, all the elements are here and all the elements are going to have only one character that is one that's why it is not showing other things but let's say i just replace this by i okay so this is going to be i and if i save it you can see all the numbers are coming over here okay now next thing that i want to do is i want to rotate this uh because you can see i have set the value over here as 30 right this i have hard coded it so now these numbers are going to be 30 degrees apart from each other okay so all of them are going to be rotated 30 degrees so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set uh let's say let increments is equal to 30 okay so it is going to go in this particular fashion so after that after every increment i'm just going to add 30 to it okay so that is going to be and then here i'm going to add instead of single quotes let me add back ticks no i like back ticks more than single quotes or double quotes because it allows me to add template literals okay so let's add this and add increments over here okay and it will be minus increments for here okay so now if i save you can see like that i get the entire uh, clock arranged perfectly okay so one part is done the next part will be uh, you know the same thing but for the other uh, thick this one okay so this uh, we have to change okay so now uh, by looking at it i find that i have to change this class otherwise uh, you know this class and this class are having the same name okay so let's let's not change the class but at least we can change the change the you know selectors okay so we can say with numbers and this will be 
without numbers okay so i have added two more classes now i can come back over here and instead of selecting num i will be selecting with numbers over here okay so that will give me the same result but now what i can do is i can copy this entire code paste it over here and i can say without numbers and i can say w o num node okay so this is going to be the small ticks okay so small ticks and the increment of that is just 60 degrees sorry six degrees so all the increments will be based on six degrees so i will just make this six next uh, how many counts that is very important so i want around uh, Sixty. Okay, so let, let's say we want sixty. Okay, so we will add sixty for the time being, and I think that is it. We don't need the rotation and the inner HTML part, and that is it. Let's try it out. Okay, so there is acha. So we have to change this to instead of num node, I am using clone node, and the clone node. Other things are perfect, and yeah so i think it is correct okay let me find out what is the error okay so i'm trying to declare increments again sorry save it and that is it we have our clock ready so everything is rendered uh, the clock complete clock is rendered with the of just one function so our CSS is not messy. So everything is done by the render clock function. So now we are ready to actually run the clock. Okay. So now to run the clock, I will have to select three different handles. Okay. So I can say seconds handle. Okay. So that will be my seconds handle. Then there will be a minutes handle and there will be hours handle okay and these things are going to be seconds minutes and okay so these names uh, i have put it over here you can see these are the exact names that i'm putting so hours minutes and seconds okay so i'm using the same classes over here to uh, get the way the dom objects okay so once i get that next step will be to initialize three more variables so i can say let r um we can have an object okay so we can have a time object which is going to store the r which is for the time being zero then I'm going to have minute, which is going to be zero. And then I'm also going to have second, which is also going to be zero. Okay. Okay. So I have created an object. Now what I want to do is uh, I want to set these three values to the current time okay so whatever is the current time i want to set that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another function i will come down and let's create a function called get time okay so this function whenever it runs it will get the current time and save it inside that particular object okay so let's get let time is equal to new date Okay, so this will give me the current time inside this object then i can save uh, the uh, current time into that particular object that is what is the name of the object time object okay so i can say time object dot second is equal to current time dot get seconds so this function will give me the seconds then i have minute which is going to be get minutes and i'm going to also have hours 
yeah, r is equal to get r's. Okay, so that gives me my updation, right? Now I have to run this every one second, okay, so that it gets updated, right? So let's create a, a timer, okay? So set interval. Now inside the set interval, I'm going to have a callback function which is going to run after every 1000 milliseconds. So in every second, this is going to run, right? And after running it, all I have to do is just run the get time function. Okay, so let's run the get time function. So what will happen is it will uh, always keep the time in sync with the system time. Okay, by doing like this, it will always keep the time in sync. Now, after doing the get time, now what I can do is I can simply update, I, I can rotate our handle based on our time. Okay, so let, let us start with the seconds handle. So I'm going to take the seconds handle, take the style and dot transform is equal to, now I'm going to use backticks and inside the backticks, let's go to the seconds handle. So this was the transform that we have used. Okay, so let's take that and paste it over here, right? And instead of this rotate 90 degrees, we are going to use template literals to calculate how much degrees it should rotate, okay? So let's see how much degrees it should rotate. So it should rotate based on the number of seconds, okay? So I can say time object dot second. So whatever is the second, uh, so there, uh, let's say it is 10 second, okay? So it should move to a certain angle. So now how much is that angle? So we can simply uh, find what is the proportion, uh, you know, in terms of uh, by dividing it by 60 because there are total 60 seconds. So I can just divide this number by 60. So that will give me the size of one particular division, right? And then I can add brackets and then simply multiply it by 360 because total is 360 degrees. And if I save it, it should start working okay so you can see my seconds thing starts working okay now this does not mean that our clock is giving the correct time okay so let me just show you so let's run console dot log and let's say i get second let me print the second in the console let's do an inspect and let's go to console Oh, sorry, the second is not defined. It is because it is inside an object time object dot second. Okay, so now if I save it, so it's it shows you that it is uh, currently it is zero, one, two, and right now it is showing me uh, 10, uh, sorry, I can say 55 seconds. Okay, so when it is reaching around 60 seconds, you can see here it is reaching 15. Okay, so that means there is some kind of a or what do you say, uh, incorrect behavior going on, right? Now that is because if you recall, we have added a offset of 90 degrees in the beginning, right? So everything is offset by 90 degrees. So all I have to do is, I should just come over here and just select everything, add a bracket and subtract 90 from here. And now let's check. Oh, sorry. Uh, I subtracted it. It should be added. Okay. So it, I have to add 90. And now if I check, I should get the exact uh, value of the seconds. Okay. So you can see uh, 20, uh, it is now the this particular seconds handle and the console, whatever it is showing, it is perfect. Okay. So only thing to remember is I have, because I have used uh, additional 90 degree over here, we can just uh, add 90 over here to compensate that and then we will get the correct time, okay? So similarly, we can do the same thing for the minutes handle, minutes handle and the hours handle, okay? And the transforms are the same, right? And uh, yeah, for the minutes also, there are 60 minutes, but for the hours, there are only 12 hours. So I have to replace this by 12. 
So I'm going to divide it by 12 and then I think everything is perfect. I can save it and let's see. Oh, sorry. Uh, this should be second, this should be minute and this should be R. Okay, now it should work. Yeah, so right now it is 2.04 and the time shown is also 2.04. Perfect. Okay. So it is working perfectly. Now, if I would have wanted, I could have added a little bit of animation also to this, you know, um, let me just try, let's go over here and let's add a transition of, let's say 500 millisecond. Okay. So it gives a smooth transition, but I like the previous one. So it's better. I do go for this. Okay. So this is much better. Okay, so our final clock is designed and working perfectly. Okay, I may make another video for making this responsive. Right now it is not responsive. Okay, then uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day.